R.I.P. to the physical woman herself. Yeah. Olivia, one of my first crushes as a child, Newton John. Xanadu, ding, 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 Xanadu. Do you ever see Xanadu? Uh Uh-uh. Nah. Terrible, good movie. Well, R.I.P. Olivia Newton John. Yes, ma'am. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex Eats of Corbin. I'm sad. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Also, I didn't realize she was 73. I didn't realize she was 73, but it makes sense because she was like 30 when she did it in Greece. Yeah. They let 30-year-olds play high school high students. School. <laughs> Not as bad as Sonny in that film, though. No. Sonny looks 87. He's, he's like a, Sonny's, he's a 50. Sonny looks like he's, he's, older he's, yeah, he's older than the teachers. He is. He's older than a lot of the teachers. <laughs> it is. It's really funny. But... Oh, yeah. anyways, this is not about Greece. This no. is about Delhi Crime Season 2, the trailer drop. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, spank Bring me. Bring it. Bring it on. Spank me, you naughty little girl. Let's get physical. Physical. When was the last time you saw that video? It's hysterical. At least seven minutes. Uh, I saw it seven minutes ago. Really? Yeah. It's a lie. If you've never seen that video, it's... Gold. It's absolute gold. She was in like a leotard. Yeah, and it's the guys dancing around her. It's it's just magnificent. Here we go. On my way, ma'am. Okay, so my address is Multiple order. I'm Parthika Chaturvedi, DCP South District. Your parents were killed last night. Oh, my God. This is Unika's signature style. When people kill these people with their victims, it's something you will never see in your entire police career. For killing, they use iron rods, hathode, kulhadi. जानवर इनके but there is going to be a shit storm raining on my head if this is in control right now. Madam, sir, permission to speak to me. I don't have control of this. Nice. Mm. Nice trailer. Yeah, especially at the end. Yeah, and it's uh, nice to see all those familiar faces, too. It wasn't... Uh, Rasika was in the first season, right? Yeah. So I'm guessing she's not back. Did you see her? I saw her. You saw Rasika? I did. For a, for a hot minute. She I was a young girl. The, the daughter, and I saw Rasika. I you saw did? a profile close-up of Rasika for about three seconds. Mid, mid-trailer. Mid I didn't see it at all. Um, but yeah, it was it was nice. It was a really well-cut trailer, and it looks like it's another true story. That yeah. I'm, well, I guess that would make sense, obviously, to to do this film. The first one was based off of true events that happened. Yep. So keep doing keep it. that your theme. Uh, it's, I mean, I don't want, don't want to say easy to write, but you have stuff that people already are familiar with. Yep. And, and it's, it's more compelling, I think, always. To know that what you're watching is yeah, a really true Yeah, it really took place. Absolutely. Uh, um, 
I wonder if I would love. Obviously, I would love to talk to Shafali. Uh, one day, I really hope to be able to. Um, Agreed. That was it, guys. Go, great job. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to talk to her. Great job. Bye-bye. You didn't have another thought about? No, I do. I, just, I, okay. I was doing something. Um, I would love to ask her in season two because a lot of times with shows, people often say everybody finds their character obviously right. as it goes along. So a lot of times season two or three are often better in terms of like how actors know their characters better. Right, right. And the writers know their characters better. Yeah, except for Breaking Bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like if you look at The Office, season one, yeah. even though see, it's great, it is a lot of great iconic moments in season one of The Office. A lot of them do not know their characters like they know them later in the seasons. Yes. Like Kelly does stuff that makes no, no sense, sense for right. Kelly to ever, ever, Kevin. The just, sa- same's true on Will and Grace. If you watch the first season of Will and Grace, the first like six episodes, Karen is is not Karen. Her voice is not, it's, it's, it's not her usual high pitched squeaky voice. That's found and they got to it and the creator said, yeah, we like that voice a few episodes later. I'm wondering if it's very common, if it's more for sitcoms that that has to do with, because obviously that's more of like they take on after the actors where these ones, it, a lot of it's just written there. I bet it is because a lot of the time as well, you discover what works in each of the episodes and then things become a thing for the character. Yeah. And you, you kind of sink your teeth into that not that they're unformed characters it's just they're not what you know from all this it's very rare where you find the like breaking bad they knew who they were episode one uh the sopranos that's why they knew who they were episode one for sitcoms since it's more of a loosey-goosey kind of fun realm as opposed to What's on the page is what you're going to perform. Probably. And I've given you all the information you need. Right. And there's other there's other nuances with comedy that you don't have with drama that yeah. add to the quality of each character, too. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, obviously in, in like The Office, um, it wasn't originally planned for Michael Scott to hate right. Toby. <laughs> right. Steve Carell just brought that. <laughs> yep. They're like, we're keeping that. The first time it happened was when he walked in uh, and he... Uh, Toby walked into the office, but he was late. And Steve Carell was just waiting for his cue. He's like, what took you so long, idiot? <laughs> <laughs> and then the writer started, and Steve Carell just started with rolling with that yep. that kind of uh, ongoing joke. Uh, so I'm wondering, it would be interesting to talk to her to see if she feels like she knows this. I'm sure she knows the character better, obviously, because she has a whole season under her belt. Yeah. But, but if, we, if she feels it's changed. Yeah. Not just the character developing just does she feel like the character from season one to season two that she has a grasp of that's one of the great things about long form storytelling versus the the the, just the standalone motion pictures is you get to as a writer you get to continue to write the character out as a actor you continue to flesh the character out yeah and yeah i'd love to know that too anyways uh let us know what you thought about the series uh yeah the whole series yeah the whole series have you seen it yet (laughs) why not let us know how it is and what should be our next ott series that we should watch down below Josh!